In 1654, a German scientist and politician named Otto von Guericke was putting on a demonstration for lords of the Holy Roman Empire. Using his newfangled invention, a vacuum pump, he sucked the air out of a copper sphere constructed of two hemispheres. He then had two teams of horses, 15 in each, attempt to pull the hemispheres apart. To the astonishment of the royal onlookers, the horses couldn't separate the hemispheres because of the overwhelming pressure of the atmosphere around them. Von Guericke became obsessed by the idea of a vacuum after learning about the recent and radical idea of the heliocentric universe, a cosmos with the sun at the center and the planets whipping around it. But for this idea to work, the space between the planets had to be filled with nothing. Otherwise, friction would slow the planets down. Scientists, philosophers, and theologians across the globe had debated the existence of the vacuum for millennia, but the idea of the vacuum remained uncomfortable and was only begrudgingly acknowledged. We might be able to artificially create a vacuum with enough cleverness here on Earth, but nature abhorred the idea. Scientists produced a compromise. The space of space was filled with a fifth element, an ether, a substance that did not have much in the way of manifest properties, but it most definitely wasn't nothing. But as the quantum and cosmological revolutions of the 20th century arrived, scientists never found this ether, and continued to turn up empty-handed.